So what, what, what all, happened the, today? Yeah, well, what well, would first you of all, think? Judge Feldman indicated that he would allow complaints against the named defendants to be disclosed for the past 10 years. That was what he was inclined to rule. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't make an actual ruling today because he wants to look at the case law concerning uh, disclosure of complaints against other officers. Because mm -hmm. I told him that uh, we have a Manel claim where we have the right to explore whether the city has tolerated a custom mm -hmm. or pattern of excessive force on the part of its officers. So Judge Feldman said he wanted to take a look at that issue and that he will issue a decision at a later time. He said for right now that he wants a confidenti confidentiality order to be signed within the next week. He wants Mr. Ash and I to agree to the language of an order. And I think what he's saying is that uh, documents that the city may have may be discoverable. There's a difference between whether they're mm -hmm. discoverable or admissible at trial. So he says as far as discoverability goes, he wants the city to, you know, search the personnel files of the named officers to see if there's any, uh, you know, excessive force complaints against them or if there's any documents in there which uh, would go to their uh, truth or veracity, okay? And he said that if there are such documents, those should be disclosed uh, to the plaintiff. What but is that? It, that? But it sounds like yeah. he wants everything subject to a confidentiality mm -hmm. order. And what is, what is the truth and veracity? What is that referring to? Basically, uh, if there's any allegations against the officers that, that they lied or uh, they were found you know, to have misrepresented something to the police department or they lied, then those items would be discoverable because it would concern their, uh, uh, you know, truth and veracity, their ability to be truthful. So a person's credibility is always an issue in litigation. Mm -hmm. So that's why he said that any allegations of excessive force, similar to the ones on this case, or if the allegations concern the truth or veracity of the officers, then those documents should be disclosed to the plaintiff. But it sounds like any documents that will be disclosed, it sounds like Judge Feldman wants them subject to a confidentiality mm -hmm. order for the purposes of discovery. And then by the time we get to trial, then the judge will rule on whether that information is admissible uh, evidence at trial. So, and if it is, then it would be public document. Then it would yeah. be a matter of public knowledge at that right. point. Um, and uh, Benny Ward, you have a hearing with him on Thursday. Right, Thursday and, at 2 uh, o'clock before Judge Payson. And uh, basically the city filed a motion for reconsideration. And they are uh, challenging Judge Payson's ruling made at the January 13th, 2015 motion hearing. They want the judge to reconsider her decision on the issue of disclosing excessive force complaints against other officers for that four-year window. So we argued that the time to move for reconsideration has long expired, that their motion is untimely. But in any event, uh, even if they do want the judge to reconsider, that, that basically the court is not bound by state privilege law. They're alleging you know, the civil rights law mm -hmm and uh, the public officer's law apply in shielding these documents and protecting them. But we argued that the state law does not apply and that the court needs to perform a balancing test uh, to see whether or not uh, those documents should be disclosed. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what Judge Payson rules on Thursday. And uh, we also moved uh, to compel discovery again because we have not gotten the, the right. discovery that we were supposed to get within 30 days after January 13th. And we also moved for sanctions, asking the court to impose financial sanctions you know, against the city for their deliberate uh, failure to uh, disclose the documentation as ordered by the court. So coming out of today's hearing, how do you feel? And is this uh, a step toward justice for Dwayne Ivory? Well, I think any documents that we can obtain uh, from the city is a victory in itself. It's been a very long process. On Benny War's case, we have been fighting for about 11 months now to get documentation, and we're not even done uh, battling it out in court to get the documents. So I think this is a good start. It sounds like Judge Feldman wants the city to get documentation together, get a confidentiality order in place, and have them give us what we're entitled to. And um, at the same time, the judge, I'm sure, will take a very good hard look at uh, you know, the case law involving Manel claims, and hopefully he'll, you know, uh, allow us access to excessive force complaints against other officers 
you know, into RPD. Can you can you make that uh, his reserved writing decision on this case public or not? Yes, I think the judge's decision uh, is a matter of public knowledge. Okay. Yeah, it's a court document. Okay. Um, any order he issues will be electronically filed, and that will be available okay. to the public. Cool. And even the confidentiality order uh, will well, probably so. be a public document as well and right. available to the public. So, you know, really a confidentiality order just protects the documents right. that are at City Hall or at the police department in the officer's files. But um, we'll see what they disclose and, you know, take it from there. Any other comments you want to make? Last thoughts? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, it's been a long battle and we'll just continue plugging along and, you know, hopefully get the documentation we're entitled to. So, and he also gave the city 14 days in which to get us the, you know, discovery, um, the other discovery responses that we're entitled to. So. It sounds like the city should be giving us documentation in the next 14 days. The judge wants a confidentiality order signed within the next seven days. Right. So hopefully we'll have all this documentation in the next few weeks. Um, the other discovery documentation, what did that encompass? Do you, is that easy? Yeah, we, we served um, plaintiff's uh, first request for production of documents. Uh, we served interrogatories on um, on Chief Shepard, Alexander Baldoff, Ricky Harris Jr., and on the city of Rochester. Those are like written questions. Mm -hmm. So they need to complete those and give us the written answers to those questions. And also they need to give us our first request for production of documents. There were other documents in there that the city agreed that they wouldn't disclose. They didn't dispute it. So really the main issue right now is the excessive force complaints against the named defendants mm -hmm. and against RPD officers. Okay, right. that is that has been the sticking point that they have not answered any of our discovery. And instead of answering it, they move for a protective order. So, you know, now we should be getting documentation for sure.